Hi, the wind caught the door and broke the cylinder on the top. The shock absorber thing. I'm going to show you how you can do a quick fix to get you there so that you can get the part. Okay, so here's what happened. The cylinder broke. This, this is the cylinder. I've taken it off where the door is, right? So the ball part is still on the door. So there's the ball part still on the door. Oh, there it is right there. There's the ball part, right? So I didn't take that off. So anyway, so you're in a bind. The wind caught it, ripped it clean. Like I broke it right off. I'm going to show you that right now. You can see this part's been broken clean off, right? Okay, and originally I thought it was aluminum or something with a plastic insert, but it's not. The whole dang thing is plastic and this is sun bleached. So, this is what the part's supposed to look like, I guess. It's black. And there's this uh, clip right here that holds the ball in the socket. So, and there's grease in there. Which, this one, I don't think it ever, it ever had grease in it. So, now where did I get this? Because we're in a bind. We haven't gone to a shop and bought the parts yet so I'll show you where I got it so we'll find a door that we hardly ever use right and this one here holds like our fire pit and uh, you know axe and stuff so I took the right from this one so you just move the clip down right and then uh, just pop it right off of the ball here see the grease I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to wait till I get the new part. But this will get us out of a bind. Okay, so what I do is put some vice grips on here. Not too tight. I don't want to destroy the shaft. And, and not too low. Because don't forget, this has got a seal in it. So if it starts feeling scratches, it's going to wreck the seal. So I put it fairly high. Then I just grab a, a pair of pliers. And I thread this on. So it just doesn't turn anymore and that's it and then I'm gonna just push this I hope it's just a push on to go onto the ball right I'm just hoping it's a push on because I don't want to have to like I use this little screwdriver to uh, pry in here and that's how I got it out right so I pried this up actually I went from this side and it followed this little groove here right so when it went over there this just popped right off no problem yeah so I pried from this way because you can't get this way the doors in the way so I went from this way and pushed it that way so here I am I'm on top of my RV and I was looking down here pulled in the awning and I could access the top of the door where the cylinder is so I'm going to show you what I did real easy unbelievable but you'll see there's damage sustained to the door as well we just noticed Okay, so that did clip, that clipped in real easy, just pushed down and popped right in. Then we found all the screws on that bracket were loose. And over here, we screwed that cylinder back in, right there with the two screws. And the whole thing worked good. However, if you look at the hinge, this top hinge right here, it's bent. See, so we're going to need a 2x4 and a sledgehammer to straighten that out. And it looks like it's riveted into place. So now, if you close the screen, sweetie. Hey, Matt, look. Yeah. Right, and you can see right there. There's some rub marks. And look at the door. So the the door's been crimped. There's a crinkle right there, and there's two crinkles by the door handle Catherine's going to show you there's one right there and one right there okay so I think we can tolerate the crinkles but I'm gonna to have to straighten out that hinge when I get home I'm just going to use a 2x4 sledgehammer and straighten it out but you know what we're good for the road now door works again and we can use our screen door again all right so a little bit of damage done to the awning here 
when the, the wind caught the door and slammed it into the awning a little bit not too much okay so if you look at my door the seam is fixed there's no more rubbing and the hinge is straight and uh, this hinge is straight okay and now what I did is we came to this beautiful campsite and in our fire pit somebody left us like two by fours so I believe that that was something trying to tell me something and so I took my hammer out placed my two by four up against the hinge kind of like that and beat on the end of this and so I did like one whack one whack one whack one whack on both hinges and I could feel them moving so kind of cool all I have to do now is get some Windex and just clean that up but uh, there you go it's all straightened up ah pretty cool sometimes you gotta you gotta respect those uh, you know the guardian angels and stuff to show you the way that's nice okay so well I thought my video was done but now it's I've found the parts so guess what that is came in a package of two it's the end piece for the cylinder which we were calling a cylinder or a shock absorber but I was soon corrected it's called a gas prop like a gas prop and this place was kind enough to sell us this one part that we needed instead of the whole thing wasn't that nice and it cost all of I don't know seven bucks and there's something else they told us about this paper so they photocopied this out of their manual and um, I wish there was a way of me uh, putting it on uh, YouTube but anyway there's a whole chart full of every possible cylinder you need so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with a cylinder that I don't like and it all has to do with the weight of the push I'll show you all right so I'm going to give you an example here now when I open this door look how it opens see that it eases at the end see watch it just eases at the end and then it stops and it's really really easy to close Right, just nice and easy, and it closes. This one here, the guy before us, who owned this before us, changed the shock out with something you would use in your car's hatchback. So watch this. When I open this door, see how it's slammed open, see that? So it just slams open, that's brutal. <sighs> anyway. And when you want to close it, it's hard to close. <sighs> but it gets closed. So I want to change that one out. I want to get the, the one that's supposed to be there that eases open at the end. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs>